What's going on? I lost my, bro, I lost my balloon. I dropped it. What? Did you see this shit? How old are you, bro? Bro, I'm seven years old. Chill, okay? This is real. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin today. <coughs> I'm still sick. I'm dying. I'm good, though. I am going to give you guys like a more in-depth look at what I'm thinking about when I'm doing the cheek curl and why the cheek curl could be beneficial to you. So, but don't mind the sign, though. What does it say? It says, no cheating, but right now we're talking about cheating, so it's okay. It says, no cheating, violators who cheat will be kicked out of the gym at the gym's expense. At the gym's expense? At your expense. At your expenses that you spend in the gym. At your membership. So will I get my money back or not? No. So don't cheat then. No cheating. But today's okay. But to today's cheat. okay to cheat. Yeah. National cheat day. Today's national In the cheat. gym, not on your girl. In the gym, not on your girl. Or if you're a girl, not on your guy. Or if you're a girl, not on your guy. There you go. Except with me. Except with Nadine. Fuck Nadine. But fuck that guy. In that way. In that for the, way. For the girls only. For the girls only. He just like writes my script. <laughs> Alright, motherfucker, let's do this video. Alright, so the cheat curl. Why I do the cheat curl, number one, uh, is because it's awesome and it looks cool and you can lift a lot of weight. But really, it's because you can put like extra emphasis on like the reason why I like cheat curl. I mean, like, like no all jokes aside, is because <coughs> God dang. Um, you can use your hips really easily on a curl to cheat the weight, very easily. Where you can get weight that like you couldn't necessarily strip curl, but you can get it up. Okay, and the coolest thing, like I know it's like science and shit. But in the eccentric portion of the lift, which is the lowering phase, like going like this, lowering for the cheek curl, for the curl, this is the lowering phase. Like for example, for the squat, like this is the lowering phase. Eccentric, like going down, going down. Um, you tear the most muscle fiber. So that's, in that portion of the lift is when you like, you tear the most muscle fiber. So in science terms and shit, which I'm not really gonna talk about, uh, you could build the most muscle in that like portion of the lift. Like you don't build the most muscle in the concentric and the contraction when you're going like this. Even though you look the coolest, when you're going like this. You know what I'm saying? So, the reason why I like to use cheek curls to get my arms bigger, and the reason why I like to do the cheek curls is because you can use your hips to get a weight moving, grab it at the top, and take it down slower. Because you can also control more weight, you can lower more weight than you can contract, right? You're stronger in this section. You're stronger in the section of letting the weight down, or in the squat, letting the weight down. But right? you guys notice if you're squatting, like, say if you're like squatting like close to like a max, this will give you guys a good like picture. It's easier for you to like, you know you can take the weight down, but you know like if you're not lifting it, this shit's gonna bury you. The hardest part is like coming up. That's not, would you agree that's the hardest part of the lift? Yeah. So, that being said, you can lift more weight on the way down, the eccentric. Okay, so, and we can get the most out of it, turning the most muscle fiber. So I'm like, shit, why don't we just like cheat the weight up, boom, with the hips, and control it down, okay? So that's what I'm doing, that's why I like it, and that's why it's one of my favorite lists for biceps. I've been doing it forever, for years, like for probably like 36 years. How old are you? 26, bro. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's math. So. Science. It's science and math in this video. This is a very like, scientific, mathical video. Yeah, like you're taking an English class, right? Like, it's English. Yeah. It's geograph geography. Gains with a Z. Yeah, with a Z. It's like geography, bro. Gains are here, biceps are here. That sign is there. See what I'm saying? In PE class, we're at the gym. In PE class, because we're at the gym. Yeah. We got all the classes. It's cool, bro. Pretty much at fucking school right now. You just got school. Anyways, cheat curl is awesome. So that's why I like it. How I do it, I'm just thinking about like, uh, almost like you're jumping, but you're not going to leave the floor. But you think about cock your hips back, push them forward, right? <laughs> it's like a dirty jump. I didn't mean to make it a dirty jump, but. Anyways, make sure like the bar is resting on your thighs, okay? Push your hips back. Don't like, because I see people do the cheat curls and they'll do this. They'll start it and then put their hips forward. Like, let your hips take the weight up. Let your hips hit the weight off, right? So don't do this and then push your hips forward. Use the momentum from your hip to curl up. And then, cool, another thing you gotta think about. Right when you like get your hips up, squeeze your glutes, okay? Because if you go like this, if you cheat up, and then you like relax your glutes, you put a lot of pressure on your lower back. Okay, so go up, boom, and squeeze your glutes. Keep your glutes real tight, catch the weight, lower the weight down nice and slow. Okay, that is how you do it. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, as the weight's traveling up, like as I hitch it up, and my glutes are tight, I'm just thinking about like rounding my feet into the floor, nice and hard, squeezing my glutes, letting it come down slow. Okay, give that a shot, guys. Um, typically when I do it, <coughs> I'll do a weight that I can't lift like more than five times without cheating. 
So that's the weight that I'll use for the cheat curls, and I'll go for like 12, 15 reps with that weight, and I'll start cheating it at five. So the set isn't like cheat the whole set. I'll do the five, strict as I can, and then I'll start to cheat it and just bang it out until like the cows come home, you know? Because that's the thing. Cows come home on the farms and stuff. You've heard that saying before, right? Yeah. It's not, okay. Until the cows come home. You're like, moo, come oh, home. Yeah, come home, moo, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate you guys. I'm out. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat. I post there all the time, except for today, because I've been sick. But I post pictures of Bam and my dog. And I appreciate the love on the vlogs. They're gonna be keep coming. They're gonna be keep coming, because I can speak really well English. But anyways, I'm out. See you guys soon. Let's go find that balloon, though. You think it went down that way? I think it did. Yeah, it went down that way for sure. Yeah. Dude, this is... Such a nice day out. I really want that balloon back. Why'd you lose it? Why would I'll you let, let go. go of it? I didn't mean to. It slipped. The fuck's yeah, your olive problem, oil bro? or something on my hands. That's <sighs> weird. What are they doing? It's like a car game, but it's not. Look at it. Oh, they're all Mustangs. Look, look. Can we oh, capture this? Oh shit. They're about to do an illegal street race. <laughs> nice. No, but it's really over there, though. Oh, there's a shopping center. Yeah. This is where they film a bunch of movies. Do they? Yeah, they cut. They, like, film this out. Look at all. These are all movie trucks. Because they rent this space out, and they put, like, props and shit. They did The Walking Dead over here once. Really? Yeah, I saw, I saw them. I didn't see the actors, but I saw like... You saw zombies walking around. Yeah, I was like, I had to stab it in the head. Because you know how they do that. Uh -huh. Stab it in and the they're head. like, no, he's just wearing makeup. Yeah, but... And you're like, oh, my bad. I was like, shit, workers come. You're like, just pay him back. Just. Yeah. I was like, he was the kind of, he was a zombie. I felt like I was in Walking Dead. I mean, look at this shit. I feel like in Walking Dead Land right now. You know how they just break in the places? Is it Walking Dead Land? Break in here, bro. Do it. Yeah, it's breaking here.